If you like to drive around and talk about the latest happenings, this is the channel you need. So subscribe and follow Carmentary. Peace. What's up, everybody? It's time for the English version of Carmentary. It's been a little while. Been very, very busy. Traveling a lot the last couple weeks. Have not had a chance to talk to you guys, give you my opinions. The time is now. It's a beautiful day, sunny as I drive home. Just did a little shopping. <clears throat> I just recently returned from a trip to New Zealand. Great to get back to the land of Kiwis. See some friends down there. I took one run on my snowboard. Uh, it was a fashion photography and video shoot for a, a brand. Um, had to be on snow had to be done in August so we had to go to New Zealand which I am not complaining about I love New Zealand I've been there maybe five times six times now and it is such a wonderful country it is the land itself is gorgeous the air is fresh and clean and you can tell that the southern hemisphere is not nearly as polluted as the Northern Hemisphere. The first, you know, you just step off the plane, even in Sydney, we, we flew through Sydney, and Sydney is a big town, and even that, just the air was fresh and clean. And then getting off the plane in Queenstown, Southern Island of New Zealand, wow, it was so fresh and so clean. Uh, it's winter down there, obviously, and you know, we, winter tends to freshen things up. I understand that, so you know, I don't know exactly. I've never been to New Zealand in their summer. I've only been there in their winter, and so I don't, I can't, have, I can't compare. But let's just say it felt so clean down there. So that was one thing I wanted to mention. Um, I did a Japanese version of this commentary a few moments ago. And this will kind of be a, a bit of a repeat of the things I talked about there, but uh, a couple of things that really stood out to me on this trip. Uh, the cleanliness was the first one. The second one was the tourism. Since I do a lot of work in tourism and shooting pr tourism promotional videos and tourism related photos and all this stuff here in Japan, I always look at things from that angle now when I travel. And I looked at New Zealand in, in that light this time as well, you know, seeing it as a tourist, but also as someone who's involved in the tourism business. And the increase in the number of Chinese tourists was definitely uh, apparent. It was very noticeable. I, I'd been there two years prior, and I remember there being quite a few Chinese uh, skiing and snowboarding on that trip, but this time it was a lot more felt like a lot more. The Chinese national ski team of some kind was was there. They all had the same uniforms on and they all said China real big on the back. It was really brightly colored uh, wear. And there were a lot of them. Like when I say a lot, I don't mean 10. I mean like 50 to 100. It was, you know, maybe like coaches and who knows all what, but there was a lot of people. And then there were a lot of just uh, tourists, just, you know, skiers and snowboarders uh, from China on their vacations or whatever, and arriving at the airport, you know, piling into vans, driving off, really noticeable. I would say there were probably more Australians, you know, on the flight I was on, especially from Sydney, a lot of Australian tourists going over for a little ski holiday, but second to that, definitely had to be the Chinese. And I talked to some locals and they confirmed uh, my feelings saying, yeah, oh, the increase in Chinese is, is really, really big. On the other hand, there were no Japanese people. Like literally, I don't think, no, I take that back. We saw, <clears throat> in the four days we were there, I think we saw two Japanese people. They were running down the street speaking Japanese, so I knew they were Japanese. But at the ski resort, we didn't see anybody that looked or sounded like they were Japanese. And 
I, I thought that was kind of a, a sad thing uh, because there used to be a lot more Japanese going over. Just, you know, you'd see elderly guys over there, you know, in their 60s skiing. You'd see uh, young kids in the park. Uh, you'd see the half pipe crew. Now, I gotta admit, the half pipe at Cadrona is not finished yet. The park was in great condition. Amazing, beautiful park they built there. But the two half pipes were still under construction and set to be open. I think they have a competition somewhere around the 25th of this month. So it should be done, done by then. <clears throat> Their season was a little late arriving apparently. The snow was kind of late. So they're behind schedule. So maybe that's what it is. The Japanese uh, crews who go down to, you know, work on their skills are not there yet because the half pipe's not open. I can see that. But that obviously is not stopping the Chinese crew. They're there in mass numbers, spending money. It must cost a ton of money to fly over, camp out, hotels, food, the lift tickets, all that stuff to do those, get in those runs in the summer. And for that number of athletes, <laughs> kind of blew me away. So that was kind of one thing I wanted to mention that uh, they're on the hunt seriously for Olympic medals. I mean, that's everybody's been talking about it for a couple of years, but it's not slowing down. It's it seems to be only increasing. And the average, you know, uh, Chinese tourist is backing it up with their dollars. They're going there and skiing just like they come here to uh, Hakuba or Niseko. So very interesting to see that. The other thing I thought I'd mention was just the overall. Uh, Good job that Wanaka, uh, we stayed in Wanaka, Wanaka by the way, and Wanaka is a town of 8,500 people. It's seeing a real boom right now apparently. It's, it's growing a lot. Everybody, the locals were talking about it. And on the last day, we walked up to the top of this little hill that kind of overlooked the village and the lake. And we could see within visual range, like seven different uh, houses being built, construction sites, you know, big nice houses. It had a similar vibe to what's going on in Niseko, where you go out there and you just see construction crews and lots of stuff being built and earth being moved around. It had that same kind of feeling without the really big hotels. Uh, I don't know what the zoning laws are, or what the rules are in Wanaka. I'm pretty sure they're stricter or far more strict than what we see in uh, Niseko and Kuchan or that stuff just hasn't come yet. I don't know which it is, but basically it was like really nice houses being built all over the town. And sounds like prices have gone up and are continuing to go up there. So they're experiencing a, a bit of a construction boom and I, I understand why. It is absolutely pristine beauty. If I had cash and uh, I could work it out, I would go down there, buy property, and build a house straight away. Straight away. Like, oh, if I, I would retire there in a second, or like plan my retirement at least, like set things up so that in another, whatever, 10, 15, 20 years, I could go, yo, that's it, we're out, we're going to New Zealand. Because, you know, I like winter, but having to deal with like mass amounts of snow when you're elderly. I don't think it's going to happen. New Zealand, the best of both worlds. Mid-August there is like January here, freezing, well not freezing cold, it's snowing up high, but you can go and play a round of golf in the morning with a fleece on, a light fleece. Go play golf, then go ski. Come on! Who doesn't want part of that? And the other thing, you know, now like the supermarket had an amazing selection of food and produce and cheeses and yogurts and like you know gluten-free and everything and anything you can think about one so even though it's a small town in the middle of nowhere on the bottom of the planet you're set and if it's not there you can go to Queenstown I'm sure it's there and if it's not in Queenstown well does Amazon deliver really fast in New Zealand I suppose that's what I should find out because if Amazon Prime is there ah oh, we're set all right, folks, that's it.
very quick update on my trip to New Zealand. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm almost home, so I'm gonna have to cut this one short. Hope you enjoyed that, and tune in again next time. Thanks always for listening, guys, and uh, I appreciate your comments, etc. See ya. Drive safe. If you like to drive around and talk about the latest happenings, this is the channel you need. So subscribe and follow Carmentary.